welcome back to another video. It's been a really long time. I don't really have an excuse besides the fact I am the laziest piece of shit you'll probably ever meet. Anyway, today I decided to do something interesting. Recently, I did a little bit of garage sailing, and I bought this boxed copy of Red Hat. It says Professional Workstation, but if you open the box and check the manual, it just says it's 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 Red Hat Enterprise Linux 3. And I thought, okay, why, why don't we do a blind install? So, I have not tested any part of this whatsoever. The only thing I have done is done a little bit of supported hardware research to try and find a computer that will work on. And for this experiment, I have chosen a Dell Dimension 2400. And oh shit, no. Do not boot. It's got a Pentium 4, like a gig of RAM or something. It's, it's nothing spectacular. Anyway, so let's unbox this. I, I have opened the box to figure out what what's inside it. It's got a couple of things. It's got the installation guide. And it's got the discs, which there are a lot of discs. So yeah, we're just gonna start with uh, we're gonna start with CD with CD number one, and just go from there. All right, put the disc in the drive. So this is like ancient Linux, so I hope the computer I've chosen for this is old enough. I actually have no idea, because there's not a not a very good supported hardware list, but does it boot? It does boot. Okay, so press okay, enter. I want to install in graphical mode. Okay, it's detected everything. Ooh, I think it has a video driver. Does it have a video driver? I don't know. Anyway, here we are. This is, we're gonna do a blind install of this. This is the first time I've ever installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux. See, I can show you that this is Red Hat Enterprise because in the top of the manual, it says Red Hat Enterprise Linux 3 installation guide for x86 titanium lamo and uh and 64 but this is i believe only the 32-bit version all right that didn't take very long red hat enterprise linux w oh the mouse works welcome this installation process outlined and i i don't care i please read the entire i don't want to read the entire manual uh using the reset button or control alt delete next I should be able to figure this out. I've installed Linux before. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, wheel mouse. Yes. We have a wheel mouse. Yes. Uh, automatically partition? Sure. Remove all Linux partitions on this system. Remove all partitions, because this has a copy of Windows. Next. Yes. Okay. So this is going to make a 100 megabyte... Let me make sure this is in focus. This is going to make a 100 megabyte boot partition. A 37-ish gigabyte root partition. And, uh... 1.5 gigabyte swap. Yep, should be fine. Uh, grub bootloader will be in. Yep, that's good. I want grub. Uh, don't need a bootloader password. Default Red Hat Enterprise Linux WS Dev HDA2. Next. Uh, okay, so it detects our Ethernet. We will uh, just automatically give me an IP address. Uh, firewall. You know what? Fuck that firewall. We don't need the goddamn firewall. Uh, additional language support? I don't need any of that shit. 
Uh, Eastern time. Yeah, that's close enough. Uh, root password. Uh, we'll just do that because it's secure. Oh, fuck you. Ah! Hang on. Uh, okay, next. I hate, like, I get it, it's supposed to be, like, secure passwords or whatever, but honestly, if you want to use an insecure password, you should be able to use an insecure password. Uh, let's see. Let's customize the set of packages to install. Ooh, there's, there's ancient KDE on here? Ooh, man, that's tough. Gnome or ancient KDE? Can I install both? I can install both. Hell yeah. What kind of editors we got? X Emacs. Uh, you know what? We're good without Emacs. It does come with them. I don't like them, but sure, whatever. X Chat. Gnome's Next Generation game. Wow, this is gonna have some absolutely ancient stuff on it. Office. K desktop environment. Uh, we don't need that. Sound and video. Multimedia applications for the K desktop environment. Okay. Offering and publishing. Graphics. Oh my god, it comes with GIMP? Oh, that's gonna be so cool. GIMP. Like, ancient fucking GIMP. Gnome games. Sure, servers. Uh, we don't need any of that. Development tools. <laughs> what is this guy's face doing here? What the fuck? Why is there just... Hang on, where's my phone? I'm gonna... What the fuck is that guy's face? I don't even know who he is. Or what he's here for. But he's just there. Okay, that's funny. Anyway, we're probably not going to be doing development on here, because I am not a developer. System tools. What is in the system tools category? Uh... Bunch of random bullshit. With stuff I don't care about? Yeah, okay. Miscellaneous. Everything! Mmm. Sounds good. Anyway, this is gonna be two gigabytes. And I guess we could just click next and have it install. Alright. Yeah. So, this looks like it's just gonna take a while, so... We'll leave the recording... Well, we'll stop the recording and restart it so I can have a nice, good eight-minute chunk. And then restart it when this gets going. Oh dear, I have to insert disc two? Okay, so we'll put disc one back in the sleeve. And then here's, here's disc two. Wow, this is an amazing disc. We'll put disc two in the drive. And uh, wait. Gotta love pre-DVD Linux where it came on like 47 discs. There's literally, it's got like discs for all the source code too. It's like, holy, holy shit. Why do you need all of this? Anyway, this is gonna take a while, probably. So we'll let this run and I'll get back to commenting on it when something happens.
All right, looks like it needs the next next disc. So here's disc three, taken out of the computer. These discs are in like immaculate condition, by the way. It's like they were used a grand total of at least once because they're all open. And then the, the guy just got rid of it. So yeah, anyway, put in the disc. Put in the disc, wait a minute, wait a minute for the disc to seek. And okay. Is it gonna work? Yep, it's going. Why isn't installing Samba? I don't want Samba. And eh, whatever. So this says it's gonna take about seven more minutes. So I'll just keep it rolling until it's done. And then from there, yeah. And then we'll see what happens. Well, I thought we weren't going to need disc 4, but apparently we do, so put disc 3 in the paper sleeve, and here's CD4. So disc, so for reference, disc 5 as it says right there, disk 5 begins the, the source code. So we're not going to be needing disk 5 unless we decided to install all the source code, which is probably like several gigabytes more than the actual compiled applications that we're using here. So, yeah. Looks like we're almost done though. We only have about 200 megabytes left. It's going to take about 2 minutes. So, we'll be back once this is done, I guess. Alright, looks like we're going back to disc 1. So, put that back in the sleeve. Then we just gotta reinsert disc 1, because I guess that's where the installer itself lives. So, we put that in. We wait for the drive to seek. And would you look at that? It's done, I think. <laughs> oh, stolen into bootloader. Uh graphical X configuration. Um, 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 um uh I'm pretty sure this is what we have, the eight four five, so what other cards does this support, though? I may try. What kind of NVIDIA cards does this do? It does G. Oh no, it doesn't. Oh no, it does do GeForce FX and the TNT. Wow. Riva. Oh. Wow. This is a lot of cards, but no, we just have Intel 845G. Uh. Yeah, sure, that'll work. Screen resolution. I'm pretty sure we can drive this at that at this resolution. Yep. Next. Congratulations. Installation is complete. All right, we're gonna put the disc back in the paper sleeve. And we're going to put all the discs back in the box. Because I want to keep this in goodish condition. Because it's not every day you find a boxed copy of Linux. Oops. So you put this back in the box. I think the box just fucked up. God damn it. <laughs> no. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, like I said, this is a really nice box. It's got everything in it. And here's the back of the box. Talks about work, connect, create. It's got a picture. But yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna cut the tape and then resume this so I can keep this recording. Alright. Let's click exit. Oh, it also says we can register for 
product support, but I don't think that works for Red Hat Enterprise Workstation 3 anymore. So, exit. Alright. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Alright, here's Grub. Red Hat Enterprise Linux Workstation. It's, uh... Kernel 2.4. Oh my god, this is an ancient kernel. You know what? That just makes it funnier. Init version 2.85. Wow. It's going. Enabling swap space. Okay. Applying Intel IA32 micro code update. Checking for new hardware. Bringing up interface ENF0. I should have this connected. So, yep, okay, that's good. Setting up APMD daemon. Cups, I, I don't need fucking printers. Fuck printers, they're all terrible anyway. Look, this has an SSHD on it? That, oh, I have the mouse. What? Hello? Oh. What's going on? Is this still doing something? Ah! What? Oh no, I cannot start the X server! No! Damn it! I didn't want to deal with this. Uh... What? No video BIOS modes for chosen depth. Oh, sh shit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Um. Exit. Run the X configuration program? Yes. Okay. Is this, is this gonna try and start an X server? Trying with fresh configuration, Intel 45845. Hello? Oh, there we go. Whoa, okay. Uh, resolution. Well, if we can't run it at that, we'll run it at that. Okay. Display settings change. Let's see if this works. I will now try to restart the X server again. Okay. Maybe. Oh, thank God. I thought I was gonna have to enter, uh... X... Why is the font so fucked up and tiny? What? Okay, hang on. Session. Uh, let's start with Gnome. So... I don't know why the font's so tiny. Ooh, ooh, this is pretty. Wow, 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 this is cool. Maybe, if it ever finish. Oh, oh, Jesus, why is everything so big? Uh, can I, like... Ooh, wow, okay. Can I, like, fix this? By any chance, system settings. Here we go, display. Okay. LTR with Intel 8 what do you, what do you want click here for critical updates what welcome to the red hat network alert notification tool forward red hat I, I, I don't care uh, I still don't care okay what is this doing your system does not appear to be registered with the Red Hat Network as a free service. Do I have to? Oh, I have to register? Okay. Well, register. 
Select the red hat. Use authenticate. Okay. Your update agent. It's, yes. What the fuck? Stop shoving big boxes in my face, please. Please, I can't. Uh, d go away. Look, I'm trying to fix. Th Can I run it? At this resolution? You need to log out. Okay, log out. Log or er, restart. I don't know why the font's so big. Like, why is the font so big? I do have the Red Hat uh, product key in here, but I genuinely don't think I'll be able to activate this in 2023 when this is from what? When, when is this box made? 2003? Yeah, I don't think Red Hat supports 20-year-old uh, Linux. Which is fine. I mean, that's the reasonable. Microsoft doesn't support XP anymore, although XP also lived for like 14 years. So, not really a good comparison, but yeah. It's just so weird, because when I opened the box in the manual, there was just a piece of paper that says, here's your product key. Just like, I have to activate my Linux? Is this nightmare fuel? No, it's just Red Hat, how the Red Hat does uh, support. It does make me want to try and see if I could still activate Red Hat 3, but I doubt it. Right, so that's going to work. My 2% higher resolution. Or did I just break it? Oh. No. Maybe? I want to finish exploring GNOME and then we'll look at KDE. Because I use... What the fuck? Oh, I didn't get this before! Okay. The software agreement. I... I literally don't care. I'm not... I don't... I don't care. Uh, network time protocol. Uh, sure. Clock. Uh, clock two. Are there any other choices? Okay, never mind. We'll just go with what this time says. Oh! Is, uh, okay. So. Okay. Oh, God. Let me use a short password. There. My, even modern Debian lets me use a short path. Oh, here we go. Let me turn up the speakers. Ooh. Linux audio works out of the box? What is this bullshit? Holy shit. Uh, sure. Is it gonna... Oh, it's this fucking thing again. Click forward. Let's see if this works. Why is this text so small? What the fuck? I don't think this is gonna work. So, uh, no. I do not... Uh-oh. Um. Um, um. Oh, wait. Uh, we're just gonna hard power down and reboot the hard way. That was weird. Hopefully Linux can survive this, otherwise I'm gonna have to reinstall my brand new install of, uh... Oh, god damn it! My battery! No! I have to plug in my iPhone. Hang on one second. Yeah, can you believe it? I've been doing this for a couple of years now, and I still use an iPhone ancient iPhone 5S for my camera. Because, like I said, last time I tried to use my old Android phone, it uh, the camera app crashed, and I lost all the footage. So, unfortunately, I'm stuck with an iPhone 5S with a kind of crappy battery until, I don't know, I 
get a job. Alright, we're back here. Whatever. Yeah, 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 I ain't reading that. Sorry, bub. I know you like your red hat, but I ain't reading that license agreement. Ain't nobody got time for that. Play test sound. Does the sound still work? Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I got a new pair of speakers from that same sale. So now both pair, both speakers work instead of just the one next. Uh, no, thank you. Is it going to be able to start my X server? Yes. Hell yeah, dude. All right. We're going to pick Gnome and log into my account, not Root. I like how it's got the stupid red hat splash, but the dude's cut off. I don't think they put very much effort into making this. Also, why are all the icons so fucking big? I don't get it. Anyway, let's explore. See what's going on here. Why? Where is my resolution? Why is everything so big? There's gotta be a way I can make this smaller. Uh, window. List suck. There is literally not. Okay. So far, not really liking GNOME. So, you know what? Let's not deal with GNOME. Let's go with KDE, because I installed KDE. Session, KDE. Username, me. Uh, yes. Fuck GNOME. I, I've turned up the screen resolution, but everything's still fucking massive, and I don't understand why. Oh wow, it's got a it's got a loading splash too. Loading the desktop. Loading the panel. It's <laughs> it literally looks the same. What? Whatever. Let's just go exploring, I guess. So games, what do we got for games? There's a a lot of games in here for being a professional workstation. We got... Um... I don't know. Is there a solitaire on here? There should be a solitaire on here. K... K win for... Uh, color line... Go, go, golf. K mine. K mines. Is this just Minesweeper? Yes! Oh my god, it's... A very, very, very old version of Minesweeper. Ah, yeah. It's probably mine right there. What? Here. Yeah, I do it. I know how to play Minesweeper. I swear. Okay, is there Solitaire? Uh, there's no... I don't see the Solitaire game I know, which is K-Patience. Maybe that's... Newer? Oh, there it is. Patience. Yes. Yes, this is very old K patience. Is it draw one or draw? It's draw one. Just how I like it. These cards look like they're ripped straight from like Windows 98 or something. But, uh. Oh, wow, that was actually pretty good. I could literally sit here and play Solitaire all day, but I, I'm pretty sure not many of you want to sit here and watch. Solitaire gameplay. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, this window is huge. How do I get rid of it? Die. Alright, what's next? Uh, I don't really know how to play... Ooh, Katron. I'm pretty sure I know how to play this. Uh, baby. Oh, yeah. Which one am I? Am I red? Or am I green? Blue. I think I'm blue. Yeah, I'm blue. Okay. Ah, shit. Yeah, okay. That's just Tron. What's next? Uh... Do I have... Can I open a terminal with Control-Alt-T? No, that's not a thing yet. Open terminal. 
Oh god, this terminal is huge. Do I have Java on here? I don't have Java. Okay, that blows. Programming! Emacs! It's got the low resolution GNU logo. <laughs> Welcome to. Amazing. You know Emacs? Not that I know how to use Emacs. I prefer Nano myself because I'm boring. Internet! Mozilla Web Browser. Maybe. Yes. This looks like Retro Mozilla, which is a browser I use on Windows 98 occasionally. Probably because it's. Same, same shit. Okay. HTTP colon slash slash www.google.com Uh, sure. Ah, wow, Google. There is one thing we can do, though, which, uh, control A is not a shortcut that this recognizes. So, HTTP colon slash slash one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot ninety nine colon I wanna say it's that yes. Yeah, I have set up a copy of the Web One proxy so we can uh get rid of HTTPS shit and further browse the internet. I just have to figure out where the proxy settings are in here. I think it's in here. HT proxies. Here we go. Uh, automatic proxy configuration. I can't reach it. No. Are you fucking serious? Well, that's disappointing. I can't reach the box because my resolution is too dog shit. Well, that severely limits what we can do with the web browser, I guess. But, uh, uh we don't need that. Okay. Uh, sound and video. Can this play MP3s? I think I have a flash drive. I think has some audio on it? Let's find out. Let's also find out if this thing can mount a flash drive. Probably not. That's got a floppy disk. Uh, what is this? Sidebar media player. Is there, like... Slash M N T Uh no, this literally just did not Okay, to be fair, that might be NTFS and everybody hates NTFS. Okay, let's try this one. Is this seriously not Oh! What was that? What was that? Hang on. I'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in. God damn it. Fucking USB ports, I can't see. There we go. Okay. Did something happen or is that a fluke? I think that was a fluke. Which is unfortunate. Oh, here we go. Media MNT. Yeah, okay. Well, there is one more thing we can try. Is uh, LSBLK install. Oh no. How do I use sudo rpm install lsblk? Is that how this works? Oh fuck, I'm not a sudo -er. I'm being reported. Okay, so that doesn't work. Which means no audio for me. Okay, uh, what else is in here then? If we can't play audio, well, we could play an audio CD. I think I have one of those. I think I do, so we'll be right back. I return with a bootleg copy of Aku's untouched score I used to listen to in my car. So maybe, maybe we can test the audio functionality that way. 
Okay, wait for the disc to mount. Looks like it's trying to do something. Oh, hello. No matching 3db entry found, though. Can you just play it? Hello? What? It's not. Next. It's not playing. I don't understand why. Let's try. Is there a different KSCD? Uh, more sound and video applications. K MIDI. You can play MIDI. That's cool, I guess. Audio player. Uh, can I play disc? So if we come down to MNT CD-ROM, yep, okay, we can maybe play this. Uh, that's weird. Maybe it's some kind of... Okay, new plan. We're gonna log in as root, because I feel like... I mean, it'd be really dumb. I feel like we're not in the right user group for playing audio, which is kind of dumb, but... I don't know. Old Linux is very strange. Okay. Do the thing. Play. It. Are you fucking serious? Wait. No, it just doesn't. It. It just doesn't play. Oh, I wonder if. Stop. 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 Let me try the bottom CD drive. I have a feeling it. Oh God, that'd be so stupid. So, whatever. Let's keep exploring around a little bit. There should be an office suite on here. That'd be cool. Office. Here we go. OpenOffice.org Writer. This should be the equivalent to LibreOffice of its time, I guess. Uh, whenever it decides. There we go. One po- Oh! Oh no. Oh no. I think this graphics card, or the Intel Express 845 just sucks. Uh, welcome, I, I, I don't care. Wow, this resolution is not good. I, I don't understand. Anyway, uh, hi, this is words and stuff like that. Wow, what is this? Autocorrect, this says autocorrect? So if we type, like, uh, Canada, or, uh, tell the version, it, it didn't autocorrect. Autocorrect is a fucking lie. Cool. Yeah, I guess the sound doesn't work, because that was the PC speaker. Let's, what else we got here? Display. Is there a sound control panel? In time, more system settings. No. Uh, control center. What kind of settings can we change? This resolution really is fantastic. Sound system. It, it doesn't do anything. Okay. What else we have on here before we call it a day? Because, yeah, it's old Linux. Oh, oh, I remember. Where's Gimp? Gimp, Gimp, Gimp. 
Doug the Dog Gimp? Why is it called the? Oh no, no! Move. There we go. Continue. Uh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Doug Gimp, version 1.2. Welcome to Doug Gimp. Why is it called Doug Gimp? It should just be called Gimp. Okay. This UI is a disaster. Layers. Okay, here's the tool shed. File. New. Sure. Then, this should be the paintbrush tool. Then, wow. This is way too big. Pick a smaller brush. Wow. The. The. Yeah. The GIMP. So, GIMP's still pretty much the same as it is today. Just like they, they got rid of this multi-window UI garbage. Well, it's not bad. I just don't like it. I like having everything into one condensed thing kit. Well, the one thing that I always work on here is the fucking IRC client. IRC never changes. Uh, is there anything else that I should take a look at before I call it quits? Like any other accessories? Candolph's tips. You can quickly change the background of the desktop by... Okay, what's next? Oh, so this is like the tips window from Windows 95. Just in this form now. Contributed by Card Karsten Nihas. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that name. It's probably wrong. More preferences. CD database, desktop switching, tools, internet, evolution email, video conferencing. I don't think that works anymore. More graphics applications. Paint program. Don't we already have GIMP? Oh, this is like... What is this? Help. About K... It, it's K-Paint. K-Paint 0.6.2 offers basically everybody from KDE.org. Wow. Oh, can I change the color? Ooh, I can. Let's write something funny. Like, uh, that's not funny. D A and K. You probably can't even make that out, but yeah, this is basically a shitty paint program. <laughs> well, not shitty. I need to cop stop calling it shitty. I'm sure this was like fantastic back in 2003. Just you know, I can't convince it to work. Ooh, reversi. Yes. Yes. Reversi. Can you believe it? Reversi. And it's even got better animations than the Windows 3.1 version. Oh, I'm getting fucking hosed. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to click right there. No! No! Why would you do that? That's evil. Die. Oh, I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Like, right there. That's not bad. Nope. I'm taking over. Oh, fuck. This will end in failure. Nope. Haha, -ha, I win. Maybe. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to just sit here and watch me play reverse -y. Welcome to go to Red Fur Co- Yep. <laughs> As they have no common encryption algorithms. 
update entitlements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, who cares? But yes. Uh, one more thing. Gnome robots. What is this? How do you play? How do you... How do you... Play? I, I don't actually want to play this. I just... I thought... I was hoping this would be something like Microsoft Tinker, the robot game from Windows Vista Ultimate Extras, but it was not. One more, one more interesting program. I'm still surprised that old Linux comes with so many games. Like there are so many games. Why doesn't why don't modern OSs come with games? One more piece of software, and we'll call it quits, because I'm woefully under-certified to be showing you around Linux, because I, I know how to Linux, but I don't know how to use old Linux very well. Accessories, clipboard tool, character selector. You know what, let's go for the scientific calculator. Help, about KCalc. I still use this software to this day, just not, the, the uh, KCalc doesn't look like anything like this. But let's do, Four two zero times sixty nine. Wow, well, it, it does math. I think that's all I want to show off. I mostly want to do a blind installation of Red Hat, just because I have the box, and I was hoping if this had Java, we could play some Minecraft or something. But uh, the USB uh, flash drive doesn't work. So, yeah. Nor does audio work, so it'd be pretty boring. Also, I don't think we have uh, video acceleration in the slightest. But, yeah. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Sorry if this video sucked. Uh, I wanted to get something out because I've had, like, four videos on the back burner for, like, a month. And I've just had no energy to do any of them. So I decided, you know what? This would be a quick and easy video of just blind install of Red Hat Enterprise Workstation. So yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I get around to making another video. Bye-bye.